All right, this is a mnemonic to remember fetal well-being assessment tests. The mnemonic is the word alone, A-L-O-N-E, alone. So the A is amniocentesis. It's a test that's performed, obviously, during the prenatal period. Then a needle is inserted to obtain a sample of amniotic fluid, and then they use that to identify some chromosomal abnormalities. The L stands for the L to S ratio, and that is the lec like thin sphygmomyelin ratio, which is why it's shortened to LS, because clearly that's not easy to say. It is the, a test, again, of the amniotic fluid to assess for fetal lung maturity. So you can also think of the L as a lung. Um, the next one, the O, is the oxytocin test. It measures the fetal heart rate during contractions which are induced by oxytocin. The next one is a non-stress test, um, frequently called an NST. So your patient's getting an NST. Um, and it measures the fetal heart rate while the baby is at rest and while the baby is moving. And then the E for the um, alone is the estrol levels in the mother's blood and it can be a marker for fetal well-being as well. So again, the acronym is ALONE, A-L-O-N-E, and amniocentesis, L-S ratio, oxytocin test, non-stress test, and estrol level. This has been another episode of the Nursing Mnemonics Podcast by NRSNG.com with your host, Katie Kleber, RN, CCRN. To grab all of our nursing cheat sheets, head over to NRSNG.com slash freebies. That's NRSNG.com slash freebies. Thank you so much for being here today. We love you guys. We thank you so much. We want to see you guys succeed. Listen, we're all in this together. Now go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.